Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options in the morning market preparation video for August 14th, 2017. Well, clearly last week we had um, quite a quite a shakeup with the bears stepping in, um, got a little bit hungry there, pushing the market lower. Now the diamonds did not suffer any real technical damage here, just a nice little pullback. And when I say nice little pullback, it was actually a fairly strong pullback, but it was a pullback nonetheless that held trend and, and hang on to that pretty well. Now we don't really have any support levels in here until this drops down, um, to that new level, but you know, right into here, but until that occurs, we're in pretty good shape here. And, um, nothing here to really worry about when when you look at the diamonds but let's take a look oh and by the way we're gapping up this morning a sharp gap up this morning uh the bulls really trying to inspire some confidence here with a big gap up um please keep in mind that chasing chasing down and chasing up are equally uh poor decisions to make you don't want to chase a market like this when the volatility raises this much sometimes it's wise to just stand aside let the price action shake itself out and wait for your better trade and i always like to you know to compare this to like a sniper you know a sniper will often um have having to lay there quietly waiting and waiting and watching and planning and preparing for that one shot now right here that's what we need to do is we need to watch wait plan and prepare there's no need to rush if we are um, wanting to maintain our edge as a trader we need to be more prepared as a trader to not get emotional and chase like this i can tell you from my experience it took me years to figure this out um my account really didn't start to grow until i stopped this um, emotional drama of chasing back and forth i would wait for my trade to maintain my edge in the market so be cautious and be careful don't get caught up in the drama a pop-up like this can easily set up a, a a major pullback remember we're leaving a big gap behind that pullback can whip right back down and fill that gap so we could have a whipsaw in price action we could have what's called a pop and drop we pop in the morning and drop the rest of the day i'm not suggesting any of those could occur just that the possibility exists and you're better to just stand aside for a little while watch and wait make sure we actually have buyers stepping in don't get caught up okay let's take a look at the spy spy now this one uh, significant damage here if we if we take a look at the 50-day moving average we're down here testing the 50-day um two days close below the 50-day and we're going to gap up over it this morning but the important thing i think to notice is notice the overall pattern this is not a happy pattern okay breaking down out of this top shooting star here at the top this gap up this morning changes nothing notice we're still below resistance it changes nothing in the overall pattern we have still have a broken trend so don't chase into this it's very very possible we could rally up hit this area up in here's resistance and come right down for a new low so watch that carefully that's how the market moves right we all we're testing support and we test resistance so watch that very closely don't chase into this move if we take a look at iwm now the iwm is just not even pretending and um we had a failure of the 50-day moving average up here and we're testing the 200-day moving average down here now i don't have them on the chart here they are there's the failure of the 50 there's the 200-day We've come down here to test this. Now we're getting up this bounce up this morning, but again, that doesn't necessarily change anything here in this chart. Okay. This is still a downtrending chart. As a matter of fact, if we were to draw that downtrend across here, we could rally all the way up into here, right up here to this price resistance and then find failure. 
okay? So we don't have to chase. Let's watch and wait. See if the price action does improve. If it does, we can get into that trade safely. If we chase in, we're probably setting ourselves up for a bigger loss, okay? <clears throat> Let's take a quick look at the cues. So the cues did end up holding overall trend, but again, we've broken down from these highs this is a double top looking high or what we in in um hit and run candlesticks right way options kind of called a bearish m pattern and that m could lead to more downside now what do we have to do to correct this well holding this trend is a good thing but rallying back up into here is nothing but a rally back to resistance a failure that occurs in here could be devastating to the cues and send us lower, actually breaking the trend. So watch this carefully and don't chase this, okay? Just be calm, be cautious. If we take a look at the VIX, you know, I suggested, have been suggesting for a while to watch this because we could get a big spike in volatility. And that's that's what happened. Not that I'm patting myself on the back for, for seeing that possibility and I didn't predict it I just saw the possibility and said prepare for it okay <coughs> so <clears throat> this possibility excuse me for the cough this possibility of of a pullback back down into here it doesn't change the fact that we really increased volatility so expect additional volatility in the market a lot of back and forth price action it's going to make it challenging for a lot of traders so be careful as you move forward plan your trades carefully okay now we could see this return all the way back down here but it will probably take a few days to come all the way back down here the other um, thing to think about is we could pull back and find support here and if the VIX finds support and fear starts rolling back in that's where we want to get really cautious really careful because this market could seriously start to show some damage so hopefully we, that doesn't occur we want to watch this slip that volatility spill out and kind of get back to some normal but if that volatility is maintained that's where we're going to be um, worried and watchful Okay, everyone. Hey, if this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and the follow me button on Facebook. And also do me a favor if you can, if you got the time, click that thumbs up button and, you know, give me a comment or two. I'm, I'd like to hear from you. If there's something more I can do to help you with your trading, um, I'd love to do that. Now, I do this every day. This is just part of my market preparation. I happen to share it. So um, if you find that useful, please do take advantage of it. Um, really quickly on the uh, um, economic calendar, there's really nothing on the economic calendar today except some bond um, auctions. And then on uh, the earnings front, we had uh, about 220 companies reporting earnings today. This is our last really big day of earnings. So it'll be interesting to see what the market does after we kind of lose this jet fuel that we've been uh, firing this market on through earnings. Everyone, take care. Have a great day. I wish you fantastic profits. Manage those positions that you're in. Avoid chasing and have a plan in your trading today. Okay. Everyone take care. Talk to you soon.